Hello Mallards, it is Monday and I am back at Dare to Escape where we are going to do the seventh room, which I believe is their longest room. It is certainly their scariest room, which is why we have an Allison with us. Uh, but I'm really actually pumped. We are about to head into the seventh room. We have Allison to do all of the scary stuff uh, and we have the rest of us to maybe solve puzzles. Uh, I, I guess we're gonna get a story for this. So this is the story of that one house on that one street that nobody likes to go to. 131 Hill Street is that home. The woman who lives here goes by her occupation, the mortician. The locals say that you can see her standing in the top window of your home in the long blonde hair, long black veil, and nobody dare look into her eyes because whoever looks into her eyes feels compelled to enter the house and anyone who enters the house never ever leaves. One day, the lights of 131 Hill Street just go out. The mortician is never seen or heard from again, but what does any good town do with an old, decrepit house when the owner dies? Thanks, they just scale the mm -hmm. they, Board it up. <laughs> they put it on the market. Congratulations, oh. friends! You four are the new owners of oh, a six-bedroom house. Yes. You've been here for about a week now. You've got your boxes open. You're picking which room in the house is the best one, the most awesome. But you started to notice why the locals were so, so wary of the home. Bumps, creaks, knocks in the night, whispers from over your shoulder, music playing from rooms that didn't seem to have speakers in them, and the smell of rotting meat throughout the entire home Amazing. made you feel incredibly unsafe. So unsafe, in fact, that you decided you didn't want to be alone in any room of the house. So you decided to congregate together in the safest place of the home, which is, of course, your kitchen. <laughs> you're putting your groceries away in your pantry one day and you notice that there is a little crease in the wallpaper that didn't seem to be there before. Curiosity kills the cat. So you grab your trusty box cutter and you begin making slices <laughs> in the wallpaper. <laughs> the old house is fine. <laughs> yeah, it's my house. As you make the final slice, the wallpaper falls back to reveal a long hallway. Down this hallway is a door with a crystal doorknob and you begin making your way down and you reach your hand out to turn the doorknob slowly. Thank God it's locked. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen horror movies, you don't want to know what's behind there. Whatever's behind there, you don't want to release it anyway. So you turn back around, you begin making your way back into the kitchen, and just as you are about to cross that threshold, you hear a very low creak come from behind you. As you turn around, dread fills your entire body as you see that the once locked door is now standing completely wide open. Now your brain is telling you to run, but your legs, they carry you fast back down this hallway, through that door, down the steps, and into what seems to be a new room of your home. The door slams shut behind you, and you are now stuck in your seventh room. Welcome home. We finished and we are in second place on the Five, leaderboard. 45 seconds. If only we had been slightly better at touching things, uh, we would have been Exactly. That is where we lost our okay. most time, yes, I think, is it our inability to touch things together. It was so fun. Uh, Danielle screamed a couple of times. I screamed a couple of times. Allison braved all of the darkness. I laughed a lot. Mm -hmm. laughed. She did laugh a lot. Uh, she did the climbing and the sliding and the other sliding and the rolling and all of that fun stuff. <laughs> However, uh, we will give props to Danielle for shutting yes. herself in a coffin. Yeah. And we took really into the darkness. Great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we shut the darkness. darkness twice. Yeah. Darkness. Like, this is really, really fun. Uh, it is unlike any other escape room I've ever done. That's my favorite yeah. one so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely my favorite It's so super, super cool. There's really cool puzzles. There's, the atmosphere yeah. is insane. Yeah. Uh, and the, like, Floor plan is really, really cool. Very immersive. I loved it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, 20 out of 10, you know, like definitely do this room. Uh, it is worth, I, I know the room is more expensive and it's worth it. Uh, I know they also don't offer discounts and it's still worth it. Uh, bring friends uh, because you definitely need at least two people to do this room, and I think that we were you need, very you solid know, you at need yours. At least three. Oh yeah, that's true. You probably need yeah. three people. Bring friends you want to watch get scared. Yeah, yeah. Bring friends you want to watch get scared. I would highly recommend that. And we had a blast. We will be back for one more that's part of this story. 
uh, it will probably be less scary considering it's the at the hop ice cream shop. Uh, but I can't guarantee that. <laughs> That's true. Uh, depending on uh, what comes out of that ice cream, it could be equally scary. <laughs> and we will see you, well, at least I will see you tomorrow.